Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in today's video, got a network update for you guys. And then I'll throw in um, a breaking update on the side note uh, after, after announcing this. So Verizon expands 5G ultra wideband service to more than 1 million more residents in Atlanta, Georgia. So what's interesting about that is Atlanta is part of the early clearance for the C-band that's going to come active in the fourth quarter. Now, some of that, from what I've been told, may have already be active now. But the interesting part is markets that are scheduled to go live outside of the top 46 that got the early clearance, which was roughly around 30 markets or so, are set to go live with 100 megahertz. And Atlanta was a part of that. So a lot of these residents are going to eventually, or actually now, are starting to reap the benefits of the 100 megahertz of C-band. Now, here's, here's, here's the, the second update that I'll throw in that I got told earlier. This is a breaking update. Um, should excite some of you, or a lot of you for that matter, all Ericsson markets, all of them, even the ones in the top 46, are going 100 megahertz in the fourth quarter, up from 60. That, that was told to me. The engineers are updating. They're getting ready. All Ericsson, 100 megahertz in the fourth quarter this year. That was that. This is early. This was not supposed to happen just yet. But that A block, Verizon is moving 100 megahertz in the fourth quarter. So that, that'll pick up, speeds and performance will pick up in a lot of these markets. And that's, that's going to be 100 megahertz in all of the Ericsson markets. That's, there's no fragments. There's no, okay, some of these will be 60, some 40, some no. All of them will be 100 megahertz in the fourth quarter. Every single one of them. So that's the update that I wanted to break uh, for you guys. So you guys are aware. This is early. None, none of this is public. So just wanted to let you guys know that this is happening in the fourth quarter. It's, uh, it's, now, I know a lot of you are going to, well, what about Samsung? I don't know. There's issues in, 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 in that Samsung equipment. They can't achieve 100 megahertz yet. I don't know. I'm being told from engineers they wish they would have kept Nokia. That's, I'm, I'm asking, and that's what I'm being told. There's issues with that equipment. They're trying to optimize. They can't get it optimized properly, so they're in contact with, the, with Samsung support. So this is probably going to take a lot longer to get it fully right to where they want to have it. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for more updates. There's some other stuff that I was just being told. I'm I'm already trying to verify this of what's coming. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Like, share, subscribe. Follow my social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.